everybody, this is Carissa from Inky Fairy Designs and I'm back with another awesome WOW project today. We're going to be doing a little bit of mixed media on this tag using the new WOW Changers. I am loving this new product and want to share more about it with you today. So let's take a look at the products that I will be using. First, like I mentioned, I'm going to be using the WOW Changers. This is the Lightning Effects Kit. You can add texture. Uh, glisten or sheen to any of your embossing powders that you already have on hand and I will be using these two embossing powders today first Oasis and uh, that's the one I'll be using the changers with and then I will be adding a bit of um, uh, contrast with the crusty copper which is from the Seth Apter metals trio which is one of my absolute favorite ones okay so for all the embossing of course I'm going to be using the wow embossing pad clear ultra slow drying as well as I finally found my mixed media brush uh, embossing brush uh, love it for a mixed media obviously so I'm so glad I found it again uh, for the wow changers you want to use a metal mixing spoon or mixing cup like I have here some of the other products I will be using come from Prima Marketing. I'm using this Moonchild Paper Collection, and that's pretty much where I grabbed my color combination today. So I'll be using some of the flowers from that same collection. Uh, I will be using a Dina Wakely Mixed Media Tag. I'll do some stamping with this Elementals Don't Forget to Fly stamp set from Finnebear. And uh, adding a little bit of mixed media spray, some archival ink for the stamping. The two paints I'm using today are the Impasto paints by Art Alchemy in mint, as well as the Dina Wakely Media in uh, eggplant. And then, of course, I've got my journaling pen. And we can't forget my dual WOW embossing heat tool. So I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. I have sped this up a little bit, but I think you can follow along and see it come together and what I'm doing. First, I cut down some of that paper to fit my tag. Then I tore it on the top and the bottom uh, to give a little bit of texture as well as use my texture tool on the edges. I am using this mixed media adhesive by iCraft for uh, adhering everything together on this tag today. And uh, so I put that down. Now I'm going to add some colors. So like I said, I really let this paper collection uh, define or inspire me for the colors that I would be using as far as the paints as well as the embossing powders I chose. And uh, I didn't want to think too much about it, so I just added some paint to the page and used my brayer to uh, spread it around a bit. Then I'm using this tad this stencil and uh, adding a little bit more texture with some mixed media spray. Now I want to add some more color because I felt like the eggplant kind of took over and I really love this mint color and I really wanted to have more of it on my tag. So I just added some more and used my brayer again to kind of spread it around. Now I want to add some more texture with some stamping. I love text. That's why I use that text uh, stencil. And now I'm going to use a little bit of text uh, stamping all around the tag. Next I'm going to do my embossing and this is where I'm going to have some fun with the changers. So I took three of the butterflies from that stamp set and I just stamped them on some white cardstock using the uh, clear ultra slow drying embossing pad by WOW and I do that a couple of times just because I really want a clear impression and now I'm going to create my changers. I'm using the texture uh, one, and like I said, you want to use something metal when you're doing this process. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm kind of doing one-to-one -one ratio, really eyeballing it because I have such a large uh, spoon. This is the only metal thing I could find in my kitchen to do this process with. And uh, so eyeballing it is totally fine. I'm going to start by um, putting that Oasis embossing powder on the largest butterfly in the full uh, capacity, the full uh, embossing powder. Now I'm going to shake up the texture changers that I added to that Oasis. And here I'm going to show you the difference. So you can see on the left the Oasis by itself. And then on the right, it has the texture 
changers in it and it lighten it, lightens it just a bit. And the texture one is so yummy. It creates a little bit of sparkle, but it also gives it some grit. Um, so I'm really enjoying using it in my mixed media art. Um, so I'm going to put that back in the jar. I just mixed up a little bit, enough for my project today. And then this is another changers I had created in another video uh, with the rose glints. And I added the glisten changers to it. So it's a lot lighter and it's absolutely beautiful. And I mixed up a lot of it, so I'm trying to use it up. And it was actually a great color to use with this project. So here I am just heating up that, empower, that powder to melt it. And all of the glory, so you can see the oasis on the bottom, the changers on the top, and the difference that it gives you. Just gives you that little bit of subtle uh, difference and I am absolutely loving it. So now I'm going to add some more texture to my tag background using that mixed media embossing brush. And then, like I said, I'm going to use some more of this uh, other changers I had created a while back uh, with the rose glints. Uh, embossing powder and I added some of that glisten so now it's nice and sparkly and absolutely beautiful. I'm going to melt that. I love the mixed media brush um, because you can really be very organic in uh, adding some embossing to uh, your cards or your mixed media or anything like that. And I'm going to use it again here on these paper flowers. So I just get some of it onto the brush and now I'm just kind of brushing it uh, on the edges of the petals. I'm only going to do three of them. I just wanted to give a little bit more of that rose glints. Uh, color because there wasn't too much of it in the background so I'm just trying to add a bit to it uh, to bring some cohesiveness to the project so I'm going to sprinkle that on and then shake them off into what I like to catch all of my loose powder in which is that coffee filter and that way I can put it right back into the jar and save the excess for later now I am taking a tool, you need like tweezers or something like this because you don't want to hold these little tiny flowers in your hand uh, while you're embossing. You don't want any burns here. And um, so you just need something that you can hold it away and hold it in place so that we can get that embossing. And now you can see that beautiful just added texture to those flowers. Now I'm ready to emboss my sentiment and I chose this from that stamp set which says freedom is a state of mind. And um, you can see I had embossed it in the Oasis first, but then I remembered I had pulled out that copper, this beautiful copper embossing powder, and I wanted to use that um, on this project as well. Um, I'm going to, I just hand cut that out wasn't going for perfection or anything like that, edge the edges of my uh, tag. And then I'm going to also take my journaling pen and frame it out very haphazardly, very sketchy. We are not going for perfection here at all. Like I said, this is all about playing and having fun. And uh, when you work on a small scale like this, you can really have a lot of fun and try a lot of different techniques like I'm showing you today. So now I'm going to take that mixed media brush and I'm going to outline my tag and then to make sure we have more of this copper embossing powder uh, in the project so the sentiment doesn't look out of place. I'm going to do that along the edges of the tag and I have done this quite a bit on my cards using the embossing pad and that gives me a little bit more uh, control and uh, cleaner edges when I'm doing my cards but for the mixed media I really want it to be grungy and messy and so using the brush is just absolutely perfect. This is probably one of my favorite new products along with all of the Seth Apter uh, embossing powders that came out this year. I'm having a really lot of fun with them and I hope you are enjoying them as well and have gotten your hands on them too. So now that's what I love about the coffee filters. It's so easy to just pour that excess right back into the jar. Now I'm going to heat set that and you can see when I'm doing this technique of edging out my tags, I do two sides 
and then I heat set that and then I do the other two sides that just makes it so much easier and you're not worried about rubbing off any of that powder as you turn your card around to emboss so now I have all of my elements done and I'm ready to assemble this tag I really love how it is coming together and I love all of the colors and texture and dimension that I have gotten from both the embossing powder and the flowers and the butterflies. So I'm using that same adhesive, uh, kind of fussing a little bit with my flowers. Um, I don't work with them quite often, but I just had these and they were so pretty and I didn't want to hoard them. And so um, this tag was perfect um, way to bust them out and get them onto something. And so I'll just use this and attach all of my elements. I did want the butterflies to have a bit of dimension to them. So what I ended up doing, I'm kind of flattening out my tag here because it got a little bit warped, uh, drying and doing the heat embossing from the paint and the embossing powders. Um, but so what I did with the butterflies is I uh, ended up adhering one of the wings flat onto the tag and then leaving the other one lifted. Um, just because there wasn't enough to adhere and leave both wings lifted, I love that look as well, but I plan on sending this out, so I wanted to at least have one of the wings attached, nice and attached fully, and then uh, we can lift the other one up and still get that beautiful dimension. So that's it for my tag today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and seeing how you can use all of those beautiful embossing powders in your mixed media projects, as well as seeing how fun these changers are to create new looks with the embossing powders you already have in your stash. I'll leave you here with a few close-ups. And of course, if you are inspired and you share your projects uh, featuring WOW embossing powders on social media, please use the hashtag WOW embossing or WOW embossing powders. And if you see anything here that you like and you want to recreate that I have shared with you, please do so. That's what it's for. And I would love to come around and see it so you can uh, tag me at Inky Fairy Designs so that I can come around and see them. A big thanks to WOW Embossing for letting me share this video on my channel. It was originally created for the WOW Embossing Powder YouTube channel, so I'll put a link of that in the description. You can check it out. And if you'd like to see more of my other videos that I've created for WOW, please let me know in the comments, and I'll go ahead and upload them here so you can see them. I really appreciate all of your support, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to this channel. That really helps it get seen and make sure that you will see more videos in the future. That's it for me today. I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye.